This video is going to be a bit different than usual, more of a story instead of just spouting off facts about how I like something. So if you like that kind of thing, you're in luck. Sit back, relax, and come along for the ride. Back when the world was still drooling over the photorealistic visuals of their PS2s, a young boy in Michigan had just been given his first game console ever, and that was the Sega Genesis. I remember my mother helping me hook it up to a black and white portable TV I had in my room, and boy was it glorious. To the five-year-old version of me, this was gaming at its finest, nothing could compare. Beating at its heart is the legendary Motorola 68000 CPU, clocked at 7.6 MHz, paired with 64K of RAM. The processor is assisted by a Zilog Z80, which was primarily used for sound. And that's one of the Genesis's big strengths, is its sound. I mean, just listen to this clip from Pitfall here. The stereo is amazing. To put that in perspective, the Xbox One X has 125,000 times more RAM. But as the saying goes, it isn't what you got, it's how you use it. Things like blast processing and the greatest console war we have ever seen have cemented this thing's place into gaming history, even when the rest of the world today moves on. But for me, it was more than that. It represents a different time in my life. It was one of my first forays into the world of pixels and all the amazing stories, adventures, victory, and defeat that they held. For me, the Genesis truly did what Nintendo don't. It stood for years as my favorite console of all time, an opinion that was only recently changed by its little brother.